everyone, today we're making crispy garlic potato rings. These are so much fun to make and make snack time tasty and fun as well. So let's get started with a super quick recipe. For this you need 3 medium sized potatoes. I've boiled them till perfectly tender beforehand and peeled them and now we're going to mash them. You can use your hands, a potato masher or in this case I like to use my pestle to mash them till there are no lumps left. Set this aside and next we want half a cup of semolina. We're going to add the semolina to a small processor or grinder and we're going to grind it till you get it as finely ground as possible. The semolina adds texture to these super crunchy and crispy potato rings. Next, we need to finely chop up some garlic. I'm using three very large cloves of garlic. You can add one more clove of garlic if you really like the garlic flavor more. Make sure it's finely chopped. Now I have a pan here and we're going to bring it to heat and we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. And as the butter melts, we're going to add in the garlic. And we're just going to saute this till the raw aroma of the garlic is gone. But you want to make sure that your butter and the garlic don't turn dark in color. Add one teaspoon of salt to this as well as one and a half teaspoons of chili flakes. You can use mild or hot chili flakes according to preference. Always reduce the flame to make sure that the butter doesn't burn. You can turn off the flame if needed. To this we're going to add half a cup of water. Bring this back to a boil and as it begins to boil we're going to add the prepared semolina powder. Once you've added the semolina you want to stir quickly in one direction till all the water is absorbed. You'll find that the water absorbs into the semolina fairly quickly. Once all the water is absorbed, we can add the mashed potato. Add the mashed potato and stir through, tossing till the potato and the semolina is mixed well. To make sure the potato and the semolina is mixed through together, it's easier to dump this mixture onto the workspace and then knead it once it's cooled down slightly with your hands or using the pestle like before. Make sure the potato and the semolina is mixed together quite evenly. To this we're going to add 2 to 2 and a half tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch, just enough to remove that buttery residue so that it makes it easier to hold together. Uh, this makes it easier to shape and ensures that the rings don't break apart later. So you want to knead that again till the corn flour is mixed through and then you can roll this mixture into a flattened sheet. Make sure it's evenly rolled out, just about a centimeter in thickness, and then we can cut out our potato rings. For this, you need two sizes of cookie cutters, or if you don't have cookie cutters, you can use glasses of different sizes. So we can prepare the potato rings like this. Use the excess dough to roll out again and keep going till you've finished all the dough. Now it makes it easier if you freeze these potato rings for a while before you fry them. It makes it easier to handle and drop into the oil. So now we can fry our crispy garlic potato rings. I've got some oil here for deep frying. Once the oil is nice and hot, we can drop in our potato rings in batches. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. You want to fry these for 1-2 to two minutes. So they start to get nice golden brown and you'll know they're done when they float up to the surface and they feel nice and crispy. Remove from the oil and you can drain them on paper towels. So these are really crispy and crunchy from the texture of the semolina, uh, nice garlicky and a little spicy. If you like you can also add chopped up cilantro or coriander to the potato dough but I prefer to sprinkle fresh coriander on top of these potato rings as soon as they're fried. Make sure to serve these while they're hot and crispy. You can serve them with any dipping sauce. I like to serve them with garlic sauce. You can find the recipe video link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this quick video recipe. Do let me know if you try. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Bye!